Welcome, we have today Town Hall 11 versus Town Hall 11, some three star attacks, and these are beautiful, and I mean beautiful attacks. Of course, using the mass bowler attack with five or six healers, depending on the base. So, uh, this is a type of attack that is very common today at the Town Hall 11 level. And when you have, and this is not even max heroes, and you still get the three star. That's how bowl, powerful bowlers are. Uh, but let's check out the base design here. Now, this base design, it definitely is done well, uh, but I think it needs to be changed just a little. As you can tell, the Inferno Towers are too close together. And that way, see when the bowlers actually come and attack, they can wipe out both Inferno Towers all at once and the freeze spell can freeze the uh, Eagle Artillery and the Inferno Tower at the same time. Do not bring, a, do not put your Eagle Artillery and Inferno Towers together. It just spells a big no-no. You wanna spread those out as far as possible. Most attackers will try to come from the Eagle Artillery side to try to take that out quick and first. But as you can tell, he drops one rage there comes a freeze actually that was a wrong freeze spell i would have put it on the other one but you know you make mistakes in the moment eternal tome goes down it's acting like two free spells and once those bowlers get into the middle with the rage and those healers behind them healing them up it is over my friends destruction and this is not even a max town hall attacker of course the defense isn't maxed out either but still, these are difficult to pull off where they should be, but with these bowlers, it's just total mayhem, total chaos and destruction. Okra, he just got served some okra. Anyways, so when you're doing the base design, I think spreading out your units. So creating uh, lots of compartments as well as lots of space. The key to the stopping these bowlers are double giant bombs. In fact, uh, I'm gonna try to bring out some videos where you even maybe have four bombs all at once or three and uh, you know clumped together. That way, if bowlers happen to land there and you pray it does, then it'll stop them cold in their tracks and you might actually save the attack from getting the three star, you will. So playing the risk odds, you know, uh, when I come out with the video, you know, put the put the giant bombs opposite end the Inferno Tower or opposite end the uh, uh, Eagle Artillery because they're going to pop the Warden ability at the first uh, Inferno Tower. That's how you do it. Uh, drop the Warden at the first and you save a freeze or some people don't even bring freeze for the second one. So have those just going to have to play the odds and hope you get guess right where they're going to attack from. Kind of set up the base where you know they're going to attack from. So this is another base, definitely better design base. As you can tell, the Eagle Artillery and the two Inferno Towers are separate from each other. Very critical. But even with all that, guess what happens? destruction three-star attack again this is a mass bowler attack he's just kind of on either end dropping two healers some bowlers creating the funnel and then look look what he does spams all the rest of his bowlers here in a second dropping those heroes dropping the grand war and ability but look just spamming them straight up and then it's total he doesn't even bring uh he doesn't bring wall breakers doesn't bring uh, any wizards, anything like that. Just one golem to kind of tank a little. And then dropping the Eternal Tome right there. So the first Inferno Tower is point useless. So there are double giant bombs, but look, not enough. Those healers heal them right up. So maybe in that sort of base, have three bombs. Or uh, wait for the back end. As you can tell, put them by that Eagle Artillery. Somehow to, make, to stop those bowlers from rushing through. The next double giant bombs are actually by the Inferno Tower. And they're not going to hit those uh, bowlers. Uh, so uh, that's the odds you have to do. As you can tell, he came in from one side. You're, when you attack Town Hall 11s or Town Hall 10s, you try to only focus on one Inferno Tower at a time. That way it'll save your bowlers, save your Valkyries, um, and you'll be able to you know, last longer, hopefully getting that three star. I'm gonna speed it up here, but there you have it. So, very impressive stuff indeed. Uh, that three star attack, I mean, that is such a powerful max on max. I mean, the defensive base was totally maxed out and it was taken out with ease. So, a lot of people have been calling for nurse and all this, but I think, you know, you know, re-strategizing the base layout is very key here. So, obviously, you are seeing here different base layouts, but they're being three-starred. This is not max, but look, 
non-maxed heroes at that. Kind of evenly, but look, he just spams these. Spreads out the golems, kind of like the old dragon way where you just spread out the dragons and then they came in and got that two star. But this is a three star strategy and it's just, you know, kind of unfair. So how can you stop it? Triple giant bombs or four giant bombs at once, hoping, you know, trying to take them all out. Where would you put the giant bombs? And let's think about it. I'm going to come out with another base design in the future, but maybe right where that Eagle Artillery was or somewhere in the core of the base where the Town Hall is. Uh, kind of after the first Inferno Tower because the Eternal Tome will protect them. So after the first Inferno Tower and where the second one is uh, or near the second one in an open field, have all those giant bombs and hopefully you'll get the bullers and take them out. I think that's the only way to stop this from getting those three stars, the giant bombs. You know, they could, uh, with the update, they could either change the ward and a lot of people calling for that or maybe do extra damage to bullers from giant bombs. I don't know, some way to stop those giant those bowlers needs to be done. But actually, he barely got the three star. He would have not gotten the three star. But look at that bowler in the very south. Unfortunate that the cannon did not lock onto him. He would have ran out of town time and not gotten the three star. So when you three star, sometimes it's lucky, on guys. It is lucky the AI goes well for you. So, anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Just showing you some town hall loving attacks and its domination simply domination everyone got okra but that's okay thanks again for watching and we will see you next time halo out